I am creating a video here to show how you can um, create a grill insert uh, out of screen mesh to keep your radiator and your uh, condenser I believe it is for the air conditioning clean bugs free uh, it's something that you could just simply spray water in and get the dirt out or get a you know get some air and blow it out um, basically I've got a 2001 GMC Safari um, you can see that if you look closely you can see all sorts of bugs and stuff that's stuck in my front grill um, I just had this grill replaced uh, we had a small front end uh, that kinda broke this grill up um, so basically in my previous grill I had inserted a mesh that kept my radiator completely clean so what I have here is basically a screen that I have cut out uh, that is longer than the grill itself and taller than the grill itself and it folds in uh, to the back lip and I have sewed up the corners so I've doubled it up and just sewn it all the way across so it's a little stronger um, I've put some velcro on here uh, basically stitched it in um, same thing on this side I've stitched in the velcro and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to tape on the velcro on the grill on the inside corners this is the velcro that has uh, adhesive on it already so I'm not using some other tape to 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 hold it in place I'm going to be just peeling off the back and sticking it on the grill and then this thing simply uh, just attaches to it and it's perfect uh, for keeping everything out this grill has been th this screen this particular screen here has been in service since 2001 2002 maybe um, and this is 2012 and as you can see it's in literally perfect condition other than a couple of spots the guy who f replaced the front grill for me uh, screwed up and put a screwdriver through it for some reason or something like that but anyhow uh, that's about it. So I'll, um, I'll, when I've got the grill apart, I'll uh, show you the, uh, the the steps that are uh, needed to to install one of these things in there. Basic uh, removal instructions: screw, screw, screw. And then there's a screw here. You will have to take out these lights, and then there are going to be a couple of screws in here that hold this light in, that, that hold this grill. Uh, to the to the car so there's a lower portion that goes behind here there's a lower portion that goes behind here and uh, just a little bit of time and then uh, it'll come off all right I've got the screen installed you can probably you can see that uh, I've got the adhesive on this side this side the top corner bottom corner at two locations on the bottom two locations at the top and then same thing on this end we've got two and two one on the side one on the bottom that's basically it um, let me show you a view from the front <coughs> here's what it looks like it's pretty much see-through uh, as you get closer you will see that there's a screen well while I had everything out I thought I'd go ahead and install a new set of horns in line with the existing horns. So basically, I've got a relay tap, you know, taped up behind here. Uh oh, I think I taped right over the hole where I'm supposed to screw into here. But anyways, um, so basically, a positive wire from there to the relay then a positive wire that comes from the battery but instead what I did is I tapped into I put it right behind this bolt for the main power line you know the power coming from the battery into this circuit here I uh, put took the nut off slid the wire behind put the nut back on so these horns are 14 gauge wires uh, they're a 30 amp uh, 
uh, horns, I believe. No, 15 amp horns. But uh, so I've got an inline fuse on that line right there. And then uh, basically from the relay, one ground goes here. The two horns, individual ground, go to there. Just drill the hole, stuck them in. Drill the hole, put the battery, put the straps on, connect to the horn, and uh, I'll give you a test of what it sounds like. All right, well, that's all it sounds like. And I'll give you a shot of uh, the screen back on again. All right, now I got the grill in, uh, the screen in, I mean, in the grill. And you can see that it actually, you can't see through it now anymore. Um, before you could see the outline of the radiator, you could see the radiator, you could see the bolts and everything, but now it's pretty much blacked out because of the screen. And right here you can see the top of that back horn and you can see the bottom of the, another, the other horn there. Other than that, it's pretty much behind the GMC lettering. It's gonna come in close so you can see. You can see the radiator now. Um, it's not as clear as it seems like on the screen right now here, on the camera. But uh, it kind of fades in. But yeah, you can see the screen inside. And basically it's gonna collect the dust and everything that's big enough uh, that could get caught in the radiator. And uh, you could always blow it out. So, once again, this is how you can make uh, a screen behind the grill to protect your condenser coil and your radiator from getting uh, garbage stuck into it, especially bugs and bees and uh, moths and stuff like that, especially when you drive at night. Um, so there you have it. Uh, it's pretty simple to do, really inexpensive and uh, you still kind of maintain the stock look.